Hey guys, I took a little chance tonight and I'm in a good mood because it all worked out. Have you ever tried to reparse, um, have you ever tried to change your partition tables in Windows Vista? For example, you want to add space to your Vista partition and it keeps saying you cannot expand it even though you know the space is there. To be, <laughs> to be more specific, I had over 30 gigabytes of free space on my Lenovo laptop and I w naturally just wanted to give it back to Windows Vista. Main point is because I'm handing the computer off to a friend who knows Windows and that's what they want. Normally I would just right click when I get on the screen it would just show me in detail all the list of the different drives and partitions and everything you know if I have Linux sharing it it shows me every detail. Normally I would just right click in Windows 7 it worked fine. I would just right click on it and I could expand that volume just take it right back. In Vista I don't know why but it would be grayed out. I could shrink the volume but I didn't want to do that. But I could not expand the volume the the option was grayed out. And so I went on the forums, I was, I was looking for about 30 minutes, not for too long, but I just, as, as fast as I could, just speeding around the forums and seeing what kind of, was it maybe a trick in Windows or something like that, and all I found was just a lot of third-party software trying to sell themselves. And the smart people in the forums was giving advice saying there's really no, no good program out there to, to change your, your partitions around. And they all... They all strongly caution, you know, against doing, going through with this without saving all your data. Now, as far as my, I keep dropping this USB. This, real quick, this is, this is what I have Ubuntu on. I'll get to that in a second. Now, fortunately for me, I had Ubuntu 10.04 right here on this USB. So I wanted just to use a teeny tiny little part of the disk for Ubuntu. And also it has, from experience, it has the best disk partitioner. Any Linux disk drive I've tried has the same disk partitioner, but I'm just using Ubuntu to be to be specific, okay? So I put in I put in the USB, reinstalled Ubuntu to it, and I just put it as little as possible and five or six gigabytes <laughs> for the root and I just went and put, put one gigabyte for the home and and I had to do swap which was two gigabytes right there um, when, when I partition I I always do it manually so that I can have better control over it last time I let the system do it uh, it complicated things and I, I I just don't want to go into that that's a whole other video if I ever wanted to talk about it when I use the disk partitioner all right, I went in there, I reinstalled Ubuntu, just put, like I said, put a little bit on there, and now I, ha I was looking at this amazing, even larger free disk space, about 40 or 50 gigabytes. I went and I clicked on the C drive partition, which represents obviously the Windows partition, what, what I work out of and what the new person will be working out of. I went and I added in nearly every single megabyte of data available like the free space said it was 50 or 60 thousand megabytes it was in megabytes not gigabytes so if it said whatever th thousands of, of megabytes was available I, I gave nearly all of it but about six or seven the way the disk partitioner works is if you give it a certain amount it then comes back at you at maybe less by two or three megabytes so I have to maybe just just be a little conservative and don't go over it I just gave it a little bit less needless to say I just manually went and I put all of my free space megabytes back onto my Windows partition and I had to um, I had to do a slash Windows. See on the Linux side I do slash which which means root, and then I do slash home which means you know like, like my home folder I'm gonna save things on and maybe have an an extra partition so I'm not always running it through root. And then I have to have a swap which means that Linux won't even work at all without the swap. On Windows side I have to give it a a mount point, which is what it's called somehow, is either slash DOS, yeah, right, 
<laughs> or slash windows, and that's what I gave it, slash windows. I, I took a deep breath. I'm thinking, all right, I have no real data that I want to lose, but I surely want to be able to get into Windows Vista again and just set up, just set up the, the system for the friend of mine that I'm handing it over to. All right, it, it went, Ubuntu ran, ran its course. I then rebooted the computer into Vista. Uh, the black screen came up. It was just saying, hey, I'm going to check your whole disk. I'm thinking, okay, good. You're not saying it's lost. Go ahead and check it. So it's, it's checking all the, you know, all the data and everything, and then it then it uh, it let me into Vista, and then it said, "Hey, a new device was was just installed. Uh, I want to restart." I thought, "I don't know exactly what was installed, but okay, I'll restart it." I'm taking another deep breath. Please don't let me lose Microsoft. <laughs> By the way, I lost my reinstallation CDs, so if I lose Microsoft, it's gone. I have to go to the retail store and buy a whole new disks. Oh yeah, I can probably just go to Lenovo.com and, and order re new reinstall this. But um, at this point, you know, if I'm going to put anything else besides what was on the computer before, it might as well be Windows 7. But really, I'm going the cheapest way possible because I'm not the richest guy lately. So I naturally that that was a side story. <laughs> so I naturally restarted my system, and it went in beautifully to Vista. Uh, and I also took out a few other programs, like I took out my Netgear program, which was kind of a, a program hog, a resource hog, and I took out uh, M McAfee virus, um, a, you know, antivirus. Those two programs were the, always took twice as long for my Vista to load. Without those programs, it loaded just uh, just almost like a, if it was Windows 7 loading. So now, all right, here's the moment of truth. I'm playing with this, and that's why I keep dropping it. I hope I don't sound like Mac Ward dropping his CDs every time in front of his movies. <laughs> uh, now for the moment of truth. I went, I clicked on computer. I, I right clicked on it to manage and then to look at all this. And yes, I now have all of the space I intended to get on Vista. So that's my story. If, if you just want to hear it from a guy that it worked for, I, I will not do these videos and give you advice if it didn't work for me first, okay? I, I tried to just... The, the fast part the fast part of the story is I tried to expand my, my volume on my Lenovo laptop I because I, I knew that I knew it was there it was sitting right there but Vista would not let me expand and I didn't trust any programs out there the forums weren't really going very far so I I used the help of Ubuntu 1004 disk partitioner and it worked. Oh, by the way, all of my other data is still there, too. Everyone have a good night. Let me know what's on your mind, thoughts, or if this helped you out.